The next question is, what do these tables or structures S066 and S067 hold? Meaning, what's there in these tables? Again, let's go back to our example. On Jan 5th, 5th of January, there is an order for a thousand dollars, one zero zero zero. And as soon as you hit save, again, if configured properly, the system goes and updates the tables S066 like this. The first will be the fiscal period, which is uh, 2014-01, 01 for January. If you have other kinds of fiscal periods, it will do it accordingly. And the value is going to be dollar thousand. Now, on Jan 10th, there is another order, this time for say dollar two thousand. And again, as soon as you hit save, the system goes into the same table and updates this row because it's still January. This order is on the 10th of January and this order is on the 5th of January. So it's still January. So it updates this row, adds 2000 to it and makes this value column as 3000. So it's not going to add a new row until it's the next fiscal. So if you do it on the Feb 10th, an order worth 3000, it's going to create another row here, 2014-02, which is the second fiscal, and it's going to put a dollar 3000 here. So that's how the S066 table is updated. It's by fiscal. What about S067? What does that contain? This is even more involved. Let's say, let's take the same order, January, but instead we're going to take the delivery. And the delivery is for $1,000. And this table is going to get updated with the customer or the payer. So who is the payer? Say 1000 And what's the value? dollar 1000 now if the same delivery is accumulated irrespective of january or february if this same delivery is billed doesn't matter if it's january or february and the billing amount is also 1000 this table will get updated with an open billing of dollar one thousand because it's still the billing document and this is going to be removed because this one thousand is already delivered so it's no longer open delivery now it's an open billing now if it's posted to accounts this is also removed and it becomes open items or open receivables so this table is a little tricky it computes open delivery value open billing value and open items